All right, we're going to show you how to winterize, partially winterize your 2020-264BH Jayco travel trailer, or this should work on pretty much any model. This isn't a true winterization because we're not going to fill the lines with the antifreeze, but we are going to get all the lines blown out so that if it uh, gets cold between our trips uh, when we're winter camping, then we shouldn't have to worry about pipes freezing and anything happening to it. Now you'll want to disconnect your city water. Now we're going to drain our hot water heater. The smart thing to do is to turn it off beforehand and try to let it cool down. I didn't give it very much time, so it'll probably still be pretty hot. So just be careful. Hot. It's not too bad. Okay. Watch out. Okay. Once you get that bad boy open, you can do this release and it'll make it come out much faster. Now we need to divert our hot water heater so we don't just blow air through the hot water heater. So there should be some valves on the hot water heater. And I'm going to climb down in here and change them to where it diverts the flow away from the hot water heater. All right, here's our the back side of our hot water heater. There's a cover that slides over it like that. You can unscrew it there and there. Slide it out of the way. And then you're going to want to, you're going to want to, they're right now they're pointed to the um, hot water heater and then you're going to want to point these valves to the line and that'll make the water go in here from the cold side and loop around and go back out and not go into a hot water heater you also want to pull those valves up to drain the water lines that are low point drains on this camper. So you'll connect one of these on there to the city water and this is an adapter that connects to an air hose so you can blow air into your lines to get the water out. So we'll put that on first. Okay, now we're going to turn our air compressor on and we're going to set it to we're going to turn the regular regulator down as low as possible because we don't want a lot of pressure going into the lines. Now you're going to go around to each of your water connections. For us, we've got the uh, outdoor shower here, we've got a kitchen sink, and we've got a bathroom sink, a toilet, and the bath uh, tub. So you'll go around to those and you'll want to open up each hot and cold side and let the uh, one at a time and then let the air blow out. Yeah. 